When we look at the picture of human evolution that we've developed throughout this semester, there are a number of trends that we can discern. Characteristics not just of living people today, but that trace back into our Paleolithic past. For example, one of the things that we think of with modern humans today is that we're massively social. This class, for example, is a MOOC, a massively open online course, in which we had thousands of students participating. And yet it doesn't take a Facebook account or an Instagram or Twitter account to realize that humans are involved in very complex social webs these days. We regularly engage with people who not only aren't physically present with us, but maybe who we've never met before in our lives. And yet, this isn't simply a modern phenomenon. The fact that humans have been engaging in increasingly complex social relationships is something we can trace back at least to the beginning of the Pleistocene. There's good evidence, again, as we discussed, of increasing social relationships and the importance of social relationships all the way going back to the origin of Homo. Part of this might come from dual parental investment, other aspects of it might have come from simply increasing group size, increasing specialization in terms of the role individuals play within a group. And we can trace this all the way through to the origin of agriculture and increasing urbanization and early settlement and sedentary environments going back at the end of the Pleistocene. So we might view the complex sociality that we see in modern humans as something entirely new. And indeed, some aspects of it might be. But the reality is, Overall, humans have been engaging in a long-term process of increasing social complexity going back for at least two million years. And while it might be accelerating as human population size increases over the last 15,000 years, it's the reflection of a long-term evolutionary trend, not simply something that's a modern blip. Likewise, the tendency to live in increasingly large, concentrated human populations is another long-term trend that we can see. Where most of our evolutionary past, we existed as hunter-gatherers, throughout the Pleistocene, we can see evidence in the archaeological record and preserved in human skeletal material of an increasing intensification, increasing extraction of resources from the local environment, supporting larger population size. Along with this, we see evidence of increasing adult survivorship, decreasing adult mortality, also contributing to larger population size. All of these trends reflect a long-term trend toward increasing demographic potential in humans. Now that demographic potential clearly took off sometime in the last 10,000 years as populations began to produce their own food through environmental manipulation, through farming and the raising of livestock. But again, that modern issue, the modern problem of population size, is again a reflection of a long-term evolutionary trend. It's not simply a product of our modern world, but rather a product of two million years of evolutionary change.